All right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to install and use Virtual ENV. So it's common practice to use a virtual environment or Virtual ENV for your various Python projects. So Virtual ENV is used essentially to create isolated Python environments, also called sandboxes. So when you work on one project, it, is, it does not affect any of your other projects. For example, Let's say you have an application written in Python 2.7.3 and another written in Python 3.0. Using virtual ENV to separate the development environments, both applications can reside on the same machine without creating conflicts. Now keep in mind that Python will work fine without virtual ENV, but if you start working on a number of projects with a number of different libraries and dependencies installed, you will find Virtual ENV an absolute necessity. Once you understand the concept behind it, Virtual ENV is easy to use. It'll save you time and possibly prevent a huge headache in the long run. So you can use pip to install Virtual ENV on your system. So go ahead and open up command prompt and then type in pip install Virtual ENV and then press enter. And since I already have it installed, it's not going to reinstall it. But if you don't have it installed, then obviously it's going to go through the installation procedure. Okay, so let me show you quickly how to use Virtual ENV. So if you're working through the real Python for the web course at realpython.com, you need to set up different virtual environments for each chapter. So let's go ahead and set it up for chapter two. So go ahead and navigate to your real Python directory. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I go ahead and make a directory real Python. I'm going to CD into that directory. And then let me go ahead and type out the command to install a virtual env. Virtual env, and I don't want to import any existing site packages from my main Python installation. Essentially, everything is going to be fresh, and this virtual env is going to be installed in a new directory called Chapter Two. Go ahead and push Enter. So essentially this created a new directory called chapter two and set up a virtual environment within that directory. So now to activate the virtual environment, you need to run the following commands. So first you want to navigate into that new directory. Chapter two. Now if you're in Unix, you'd want to run source bin forward slash activate. But since we're in Windows, all we need to run is scripts backslash activate. And now we're in the virtual environment. And you can tell when you're in a virtual environment by the directory surrounded by parentheses to the left of the path in your command line. And then when you're done working, you can exit the virtual environment using the deactivate command. And then you can obviously reactivate by using the same command as before. So that's all there is to it. Please comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.